What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode and a very hot one right here on the On My Gardener channel. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one because I'm roasting it out for you guys. So it's uh, 92 degrees right now. This week it's supposed to get up to 103 and uh, it's not even August yet. So it can only get worse from here, but it is super hot and uh, that actually prompted me to talk about five mistakes that gardeners make during hot weather. This is something that I'm learning, you know, I've learned from personal experience. So I just want to share with you guys to prevent you from making the same mistakes. And there's something that I think all gardeners can relate to at some point in their gardening life. So I want to jump right into it because it's way too hot to be out here. They actually have heat advisories out and uh, the cicadas are going crazy. And uh, it's time for me to be back in the air conditioning. It is hot. So let's jump on into it. The first most common gardening mistake that so many people make during hot weather is watering. Your plants do not need as much water as you think they do. And I know that it's a common thought that, you know, if I need to drink water to stay cool, my plants do as well. But the fact of the matter is your plants are actually going to tell you if they need water or not. And in our case here, the leaves are super taut. They're nice and thick. They're very rigid. They're not drooping. They're not curling. They're just really healthy and they seem stress-free. So for me, I don't need to water because of that, because I see that they're fine. If I had to water, I would water in the very early morning. If I have to water, I typically get up around five o'clock, 5.30, well before the sun rises, get my plants all watered to give the water a chance to soak down through the soil, irrigate the plants, relieve them of that, that stress, and then when the hot weather comes, they'll tolerate it. The worst thing you can do is water during the heat of the day or when it's hot out because the soil, the surface soil is bone dry and it heats up really hot. I mean, it's, it's hot to the touch. It's probably 90 to 95 degrees just on the surface. If you pour water on the, soil, on the surface of the soil, the water is going to absorb that heat and it's going to travel on down through the soil and you're going to end up cooking your plant roots. That's one of the fastest ways to kill your plants is just by watering them during hot weather. So just don't do it or wait till the very early morning when you can water safely. The next most common gardening mistake that I see being made is planting seeds during hot weather. You see, this is an issue because as gardeners, we hear all the time that seeds need warm soil to germinate. However, warm soil is different than hot soil. One of two things is gonna happen when you plant seeds in hot weather. Usually hot weather coincides with the dry season. And if you plant seeds during the dry season, you, know, you might water this, but then when the hot sun comes out, it'll just dehydrate it. And seeds will actually have really poor and very spotty germination if they go from you know, uh, damp to dry, to damp to dry, to damp to dry. They will not germinate well. And if they do germinate, the seeds, the seedlings are very, very small and they're being exposed to that super hot sun and very high temperatures, they're just gonna fry and bake in that sun. Just like we talked about when you're watering, uh, watering your fully mature plants, that soil surface is really hot despite you, know, despite you thinking that uh, your plants can survive. This has a lot of perlite on the surface and it's still probably 80 to 85 degrees. It's very warm. And uh, so one way that you can uh, alleviate this problem is by starting with starts. You know, we'll start seeds in little cell trays, just like we would indoors in the early spring, and we'll transplant them. Now, obviously beets, these have already been started, but we started these about three weeks ago before the hot weather came, and these are well up. But we're not gonna start any seeds until after August because August is the hottest month of the year for us here in Michigan, and all we're going to do is just be fighting mother nature. The third most common mistake I see gardeners making during hot weather is fertilizing. Now you might wonder to yourself, how on earth fertilizing could be a mistake? However, during hot weather, your plants kind of shut down. They actually reserve their energy because hot weather, anything over 90 degrees, causes plant stress. So they kind of just shut down and go dormant until the cool weather arrives. And when you fertilize, what happens is the roots send a signal to the plant saying, hey, I've got nutrients. I should probably take advantage of these while they're here, while they're available. And so the plant will start growing again. However, growing is not just taking up nutrients. It actually requires a lot of energy and the plant expels that energy that it normally wouldn't want to during hot weather. And so if you give them a lot of nutrients in the form of fertilizer, it can often cause them to grow and stress in a time that's already stressful. And what can happen is you can actually overstress your tree by fertilizing, or well, any plant, but this plant in particular, we're not fertilizing this. A lot of people have asked, are you gonna give it more, nit more nitrogen? And the answer is no. This peach tree could use some nitrogen. It's very, very yellow. And uh, that just happened because we had, such, uh, we had such a wet spring. A lot of the nutrients leached from the soil and it's looking a little yellow. 
but there's no way in the world I'm gonna fertilize it right now because it's actually doing far better off than it was in the early spring. It's just kind of going dormant during this hot, this hot period. And once the weather breaks, then we'll fertilize and we'll be way better off. I guarantee you if we were to fertilize this right now, it would probably be a death wish for it. So just don't fertilize during hot weather. And remember that anything over 90 degrees is considered stressful for your plants. Even hot weather and hot loving plants like peppers and tomatoes really don't enjoy it over 90 degrees. So just keep that in mind and don't fertilize. The fourth mistake I see so many gardeners making during hot weather is handling pests. You see, it's Japanese beetle season right now and I see a ton of gardeners uh, that are handling Japanese beetles, aphids, white flies, spider mites, um, tomato hornworms, it doesn't matter what it is. The only safe method of pest control is manual removal. If you come in here and spray, regardless if it's an organic pesticide or an inorganic pesticide, doesn't matter, it will, it will actually stress this plant out even more. It's exactly the same as fertilizing an already stressed plant. You know, if the, if the plant is, uh, is needing nutrients, don't fertilize it because you're gonna cause it to be more stressed. If the plant is stressed because of high temperatures and, and insects are honing in on that stress and starting to eat your plants, let the plants go until the, the hot weather dies down and then spray the pests. Because the, the fact of the matter is, is no matter how many pests you have, they're not gonna just decimate your plant over the course of a couple days. You know, they'll do some damage. I mean, there's a few leaves in here that look like Swiss cheese, but the plant as a whole is like, 98% intact. There's not a whole lot of damage, but if I go and say, and freak out and say, I have to handle these pests right now, I'm gonna do way more damage than the pests will, to be perfectly honest with you. So do not use pesticides, whether they're organic or inorganic, during high temperatures. The only thing I'd ever recommend doing during high temperatures is manual removal. Just come by with, uh, with a butterfly net and, uh, and scoop them up. This even applies to using water. A lot of people will use high pressure water to spray off aphids and things like that on their plants. This is a very big mistake because of the fact that anytime you get water on the leaves during high, during, uh, high temperatures, the sun will use the water as a magnifying glass and you'll end up burning your leaves. So don't even use water. It's the most organic pest control option out there that you could spray in your plants. It's just H2O, water, and it can end up killing your plants. So just do not handle pests during high temperatures unless it's a manual method. And the fifth and final mistake I see a lot of gardeners making during high temperatures is letting ripe fruit sit on a plant. This is something that I've definitely made the mistake of. And sometimes we say, well, if I'm not gonna use it right away, I'm just gonna let it sit on the plant because it'll stay fresher longer if it sits on the plant. And yes, this is true. It definitely will stay fresher longer because it's attached to the plant. It's receiving water, it's receiving nutrients, and the ripening process is not happening as fast as if you pick it and move it inside. However, if you have a ripe tomato, for instance, we have a couple here on, on these plants here, I gotta get them off. It can apply to beans, zucchini, tomatoes, peppers, it really doesn't matter. If you have something that is ripe and it is ready to come off the plant, get it off the plant during high temperatures because of the fact that the amount of energy it takes to keep this fruit on the plant is way more, is way more stress than the plant actually wants to undergo. It actually causes a ton of stress to keep growing, producing, and holding all this fruit on the plant. So come through once a day in the early morning you know, right when you're doing your watering chores as well in the early morning, come through, pick up, pick off any fruit that's you know, nearly ripe. If it's blushing, obviously leave it on, but if it's ripe, if it's ready to go, don't keep it on the plant. Pick it off and let the plant actually continue to rest because that's what it really wants to do. It does not want to hold all this fruit on the plant. The fruit is a way of reproduction. The fruit is a way for it to reproduce, create viable seeds, and that takes a ton of energy to hold that on the plant. So get it off and your plants are gonna actually thank you for it because it's going to, um, it's actually going to be way less stress on the plant. So there you go, there's five mistakes that gardeners make during high temperatures. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you learned something new. I'm gonna go inside and cool off, get some water, because it is hot. All right, go be your home, everyone. Bye.